70 million years ago, the creatures known as dinosaurs mysteriously disappeared from the planet Earth. It was thought that they would never be seen again. But in the year 2000, the people of Earth were amazed and terrified by the greatest catastrophe ever known to mankind, the reappearance of the dinosaurs. The Earth is ours! For millions of years, they had hidden in their secret underground caverns, developing an intelligence equal to that of man, and dreadful powers far beyond those of humankind. What was their purpose? Why had they suddenly reappeared? The answer was a fearful one indeed. You will all be destroyed! Though some of the creatures are willing to live peacefully underground, they are forced to attack humans by their mad ruler, Emperor Tyrannus. For with his superpowers, he is capable of turning any animal into a murderous beast that will obey his every command. <laughs> On the surface above, there are also some humans who show little regard for living things. But their actions are nothing in comparison to the fiendish ferocity they are about to encounter. in this sector have turned into red monsters. Don't tell me it's not possible. I'm telling you they're monsters. At Gemini Command Headquarters, reports have been received which indicate some form of strange activity within the damaged sector. 
The Gemini Command is a defense squad created to ensure the safety of Earth, and its chief is the well-known biologist and physicist, Dr. John Carmody. Under his command are the four members of the squad, Captain Jim Starbuck, Lieutenant Jem Starbuck, Lieutenant Jerry Fordham, oh, oh, oh. and Science Officer Lieutenant Wallace Singer. I'm glad you could come, all of you. We've received strange reports from Alpha Sector 3. Reliable witnesses there tell of monstrous red dogs ravaging the countryside as well as earthquakes and fires. Did you say these were reliable witnesses? It sounds pretty far-fetched to me, Doctor. Be that as it may, we must investigate immediately. How could such a thing come about? I can't be positive, but I think it has something to do with the recent underground activity that the geology team has picked up on their seismographs. I see. What seems strange to me is that we're being mobilized to deal with the problem. I mean, why not the geology team? If what I suspect is true, they're not equipped to handle the job. You mean it might have been caused by something attacking us? I'm hoping that's not the case, but the evidence has led me to that conclusion. All right, get going. Yes, yes sir, at once. once. Bye, Booch. Gotta go now. The Gemini Command Headquarters was especially designed by Dr. Carmody so that the squad will be on its way as quickly as possible in the case of an emergency. Within seconds, they are ready to go into action. to watch for indications of movement beneath the surface. Analyzer ready, sir. Report as soon as you find anything. Prepare for launch. Good luck and be careful out there. All personnel clear the area. All personnel clear the area. Gemini Command ship ready for launch on pad C3. Repeat, pad Charlie 3. All personnel clear the area. Launch condition green and in progress. Attack module docked and ready. Open defense bay doors. Captain Starbuck, you may begin vertical takeoff. VTO completed. Course programmed for Sector Alpha 3. Fuel mix A-OK. -okay. Rockets primed. Fire rockets. What a catastrophe. I can't imagine what could have caused such damage and destruction. It wasn't done by the Red Dogs, at least not by themselves. That's right, the Red Dogs. We haven't seen any at all. Calling Starbuck. The damage is confirmed, but we haven't seen any sign of the dogs you told us about. I can't say that I'm surprised. Doctor, what do you mean? I just received information that the dogs were seen in Delta Sector. We mustn't let them reach the city. You and Jem may be the only thing that can stop them. We'll give it everything we've got, Dr. Carmody. Good luck, Jim. <laughs> I think I see them. Look at the size of them. They've turned into monsters. Prepare Gemini attack module. I wouldn't believe it if I wasn't seeing it with my own eyes. I've specialized in the study of animals all my life. I never thought I'd see monsters. Oh, those aren't dog's teeth, they're the fangs of a lion. 
Let's try the high voltage amplifier gun, but set it on low so they'll be stunned and not killed. That's it. It's time to split up. Sights, Captain. Huh? Increasing power, Captain. It didn't even slow them down. It looks like they're pretty tough, Captain. I see we've underestimated them. We'll have to try the laser gun. Must we, Jim? They won't be hurt, just knocked out for a while. Then they'll turn back into ordinary dogs. It's worth a try. Laser gun in position. Fire. It's working, Jim. We've stopped them. Oh, oh well done. Captain Starbuck, go huh? immediately to the center of the city. A pack of red dogs is attacking. I think we found a way to stop them, Dr. Carmody. Don't worry, we're on our way. Wally, Jerry, did you hear that? We're, we're right, right behind you. you. Let's, Let's go. go. Try the laser gun again. Right. right. Huh? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 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 is a Tyrannosaurus, king of dinosaurs, the most vicious and bloodthirsty monster ever to walk the Earth. Now, with its increased intelligence, it has become a super monster. It may become necessary to use the Gemini transfer. We'll see. Jem, let's go get him. Rocket number one. Firing now. <laughs> you can't stop me. Monster is attacking the school. Those kids are in danger. Let them have it, Jem. Everything we've got. Firing now. <laughs> His hide is stronger than steel. I'm afraid my theory was correct. For millions of years, these creatures have been subjected to the tremendous pressures that exist far beneath the surface. As a result, they've evolved into this almost indestructible form. The dogs obey him. They're attacking the children. Destroy! Hey, hey, be clean! Again, humans are vermin and mice. Be exterminated! 
Understood! It reminds me of my mother-in-law. What are we gonna do? What we need is the power of Gemini. You two take care of those dogs while we prepare for bionic transfer and amplification. Don't worry, Captain. We'll take care of those dogs and protect the children. Remember the time limit, Captain? Just three and a half minutes. Roger. Gemini will stop him. It's too risky. There are children out there. We've got to save them. All right, but remember, more than three and a half minutes is Gemini and you won't survive. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll be careful. Are you ready now, Jem? Mm-hmm. Jem. Jim. Gemini! Gemini. Dr. Carmody has implanted a special bionic circuit within the bodies of the two squad members that allows them to transfer, combine, and integrate their mental, spiritual, and physical selves, creating one entity of superhuman intelligence and power, Gemini. But they can remain joined together for no more than three and a half minutes, for as Gemini, they are using energy at a much greater rate than normal human beings. If they don't separate before that time, they will not survive the transfer into their own bodies. Come! Come and die! Gemini, over there! Wally, the fire is out. Now let's go and take care of our little red doggy friend, shall we? Right. <laughs> Hurry, their time is almost up. Monster wasn't as smart as we thought, Dr. Carmody. He never learned that you can't win a fight if you lose your head. <laughs> I'm proud of you all. Do you think they separated in time? Huh? huh? Mm. Mm. Hey, Jem, time to wake up. <sighs> the kids are safe and the monster's been destroyed. That's great, Jerry. Thank goodness. 
You've done an excellent job. Congratulations. It looks like your theories were right all along, Dr. Carmody. And that theory, I'm afraid, will prove my prediction. They have a master plan to annihilate the human race. The super monsters will attack again. Gemini! You cannot save the human race! <laughs> Ready for a lift, Captain. Bring her up, Wally. Stabilized and secure, Captain. Sensors on full and scanning, Jim. Dr. Carmody is sure they'll attack again, so keep your eyes open. Those of the Earth Defense Squad realize that they must always be on guard against the enemies of mankind, whose diabolical plans to exterminate the human race must be stopped at any cost. The entire planet has been put on the alert to keep an eye out for any strange activity under the surface. But the two hikers in this remote and isolated region have not yet heard the news and are taken completely by surprise at what they are about to find. Those bats are huge, aren't they? Boy, there sure are a lot of them. What's, What's happening, happening to them? What's, What's going, going on? on? Ah! What is your will? I have I used my power to inspect the bats with a thirst for blood and destruction and lead them against the humans. I shall obey. Death to humans. What's that? Look! Huh? Kill and destroy. Kill and destroy all humans. Gemini headquarters, Dr. Carmody is meeting with the president and the directors of the Armaments and Defense Agency. I see now why you called it a monster, Doctor. We're lucky he was the only one of that size that we had to deal with. We had a tremendous problem with those red dogs because there were so many of them. I've never known animals to attack humans so viciously. It seemed like they were being driven mad by their need to destroy and we couldn't stop them. But how is it possible for a dinosaur to have learned our language, Dr. Carmody? It makes no sense whatsoever. I thought at first that they were extremely intelligent. But now, I think that through some fluke of nature, they have become telepathic and know what words to use by reading our minds. I also believe, Mr. President, that they can control the red dogs and other animals through some form of collective hypnotism. I'm told, Doctor, that you think these super monsters will come back. Mm-hmm. I'm sure of that. <laughs> the alarm. I wonder what's going on. Emergency! Defense squad alert! Thousands of monstrous yellow bats have been sighted. The radar scanners show a huge crowd of them about to attack the city. They're headed directly for... 
<gasps> the bats must have gotten to them. We've got to report this at once. It's the super monsters again. I'm sure of it. Them again? First they use dogs, now bats? We can't just sit here and talk about it. We've got to do something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Try to get it taken care of. We'll get on it here. Don't worry, we'll hide it. This is Jem. Go ahead. Jim here. It's the monsters again. Now they're using giant bats. Bats, you say? Yes, Doctor. Thousands of them. Captain Starbuck, get the Gemini command ship here as soon as you possibly can. Right away, sir. Jim, I'll be on the roof in five minutes, so pick me up, all right? I understand. Tell the squad to stand by. We're going to pick up Jem on the roof of the defense tower. The sooner the better. It makes me feel strange not having her here. All systems go, Captain. Right, prepare for takeoff. All personnel clear the area. All personnel clear the area. Gemini Defense Squad ready for launch on pad C3. Repeat, pad Charlie 3. Launch condition green and now in progress. Attack module docked and secured. Open defense bay doors. Captain Starba, you may begin vertical takeoff. Thank you, base. VTO completed. Course program for defense tower, Captain. Rockets are primed. Fire rockets. They look like giant bats. That's exactly what they are, gentlemen. They've been ordered by the super monsters to attack us. So that's it. It seems unbelievable. What you are witnessing is the proof of my theories about the telepathic abilities of the dinosaurs. It's the only rational explanation for the behavior of the bats. The only reason they would be attacking this particular building is because their masters knew about this meeting. I suggest we choose a new location for this conference at once. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? Answer me! The line is dead. Where is the Gemini force now, Dr. Carmody? Don't worry, Mr. President. We're still in communication with the Gemini squad. They're on their way. We'd better move to the shelter, Mr. President. There's no electricity. The elevator's out. We'll have to take the stairs, sir. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. The bats are in the building! Oh. We're running out of time. Where's the Gemini squad? Jim, come on. Where are you? Jim, we're almost there. Hold on. Go on up to the roof and we'll meet you there in three minutes, all right? You'd better hurry, Jim. The bats have this building surrounded. Stay inside. Don't go out until we get there. If you could use the Gemini transfer. But you can't do that without her being here. So we have to get rid of those bats. We still have those Zeta bombs on board. Let's use those on them. Not only will it get rid of the bats, but it won't hurt the people in that building one bit. Right. We'll blow those bats back to where they came from. We're coming. Hang on, Jim.
Dr. Carmody, we're right outside the building. Under the circumstances, I think we should use the Zeta Bomb. Good thinking, Jim. It's an excellent plan. Get the Zeta Bomb locked on target and ready for launch right away, Jerry. Aye, aye, Captain. Bombs away. You bet, Captain. <laughs> Let's go and get Jen. Huh? Captain? Oh. Huh? Some kind of flying monster. I'm taking evasive action. Hold on. Oh, oh. Bombs away. Oh. Oh. Hi, Captain. Oh. Prepare the Gemini attack module for disengagement. Jerry, take over the controls. I'm shifting to the module. Now lower away. She's armed and ready, Captain. Captain Starbuck and the defense squad. We'll all be killed. This is the chief of the defense agency. Come in, troop commander. Come in. All the communications are out. Oh, no. The monster's headed this way. Look out. What a fool I've been. Now I can see what a mistake it was to bring you up here, Jim. I should have realized that splitting up you and Jim would leave us defenseless. I'm going up to the roof right now, doctor. Wait. If we don't make the Gemini transfer, we'll all die. You're a brave one, Jem. All right, I won't stop you. Remember, Jem, that sea by a kind of radar. If you use the radar jamming device on your stun gun, it'll knock them out. All right, Jem, go on. Good luck. Oh! Uh. <laughs> monster is ripping the building apart. We've got to stop it, but how? Perhaps we can distract his attention. You mean use ourselves as bait? It's a dangerous plan, but in order to rescue Jem, I've got to get it away from that building somehow. What, what should, should we, we do? do? We'll split up the attack module. You'll take Gemini 2 in the other direction, but first you've got to fly right by the monster's face, so he'll go after you. And while you're distracting him, I'll go and get Jem. Right. I'm positive it'll work. The best of luck, my friends. <laughs> I think we should say hello, don't you? You'll suffer for that! Jim, Jimmy. 
Jim, what's going on out there? Oh. You must listen to me. I bring you greetings from Emperor Tyrannus. He has an offer for you. You will be our slaves and we will spare your lives. Otherwise, you will all be destroyed. <laughs> I've got to get down there somehow. Jim, tell me where you are. It's Jim. I'm in the conference room with Dr. Carmody. What's going on? The monsters say they won't kill us if we'll be their slaves. Jim, do you know what's happened to Wally and Jerry? They don't respond to my signal. Jim and I, too. Come in. Jerry, Wally, come in. Huh? Huh? The ship is on its side. You've got to push me over. Then get your ship in the air and try to distract the monster. Aye, aye, Captain. Captain. Thank you two, and well done. Now let's carry out the rest of the plan. Make him chase you away from the building as fast as possible. But Captain, the last time he blew us right out of the sky. Would you rather be slaves for the rest of your lives along with all the other people on Earth? Now go on, that is an order. You're right, I don't even know why I hesitated. We'll make sure he follows us. Come on, let's go see if our friend wants to play. <laughs> Once again, the life essences of the two squad members have been bionically amplified and combined to produce the super being known as Gemini. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Minute time limit is almost up, but Gemini is determined to destroy the monster. No! Gemini! Time limit was almost up. We've beaten them this time, but they'll be back, and only the Gemini force can stop them from enslaving the Earth. Once again, the super monsters have been defeated by the Gemini force. But who knows what means they will use to try and conquer the Earth next time. Whatever it is, the defense squad will be there. Their setbacks on the Earth's surface have not discouraged the super monsters from their plan to take over the world. And the Emperor Tyrannus is now commanding his troops. Attention! Tyrannus is the Tyrannus! It's time to call out the rats! Ah. <sighs> Hiya, Jim. Hello, Michael. Have you finished cleaning the blouse I brought in? Well, of course I have. I wouldn't want to disappoint my best friend's sister, would I? It's a beautiful blouse. Thank you. There you go. Oh, you did get that spot out. Hey, I'm a professional. <gasps> it's a big rat! Oh, no. <gasps> Look at that. I'm going to get you, you ratty rat. The members of the defense squad soon learn of Jem's experience with the rat, but have no way of knowing that it is connected with the super monsters. Just look at what that rat did to my blouse. What a tear. All you can do with this is wash windows. Or maybe you can start a new fashion. <laughs> I hope he at least offered to pay you back for the damage that was done. Mm-hmm. Poor Michael felt so bad about what happened, but I wouldn't take a penny from him. You shouldn't have let him get out of it. It was his fault. I don't appreciate your telling me what to do with my money or my blouse. Don't change the subject. That blouse was Michael's responsibility, and he let it get ruined. Shouldn't he pay for that? No. You talk as if you've never made a mistake in your whole life, Mr. Jim Starbuck know-it-all. Well, I have. And when I made my mistakes, I depended on my friends to forgive me. You're too soft-hearted. I'm going to have to talk to Michael about this myself. Over my dead body, you will. This is none of your business. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, oh boy, Wally, this is quite a fight. Affairs. We could be my selling blouse, tickets to who this. Who do you think you are? I'm your brother, and obviously you can't take care of the problem. It's really a case of sibling rivalry. Huh? That's not the point. Oh, that signals the end of round one. Be taken care of. Wally I'm here? In it. It. Certainly. Oh, He's standing right here. Uh, Jim, Michael wants to talk to you. Uh, speak of the devil. I want to talk to you, too. What? No, Anna isn't here with us. I'm afraid she's lost, Jim, and she just ran out of here this afternoon and... Not back yet, but it's almost dark. I'll find her. She was chasing that rat. Wait a minute, Jim. I say we call the police. They'll know where to look. It's their job. Uh, stop ordering me around. <sighs> Little Anna has wandered all the way to the other side of the city, chasing the rat. Where are you, you rat? I'll find you if it's the last thing I ever do. Hmm. What's that? Is there somebody hiding back there? Aha! There you are! I'll get you! Come back here! Come back 
They sure grown big down here. Yeah. <laughs> huh? oh. Oh. The super monster's ray is now aimed at the rats, making them into glowing red slaves of the monsters from the center of the earth. Huh? Well, look at that. There must be hundreds of them. I've never seen rats like this before in my life. Where did they all come from? Look at them. I don't know. Oh. 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 Here they come. Here they come. Oh my gosh! The super monster known as Ashtaroth controls the rats with the vibrating hum of the armored plates on his back, causing them to become bloodthirsty fiends. How's the kid, Jim? Oh, she wasn't hurt, but she had a really terrible scare. That must have been a terrible experience. Sounds awful. Listen, Jim, I think we ought to have the team investigate these rats. Hmm. Not yet. Not yet? Those rats are a menace. I told you what they did to poor Anna. What are you afraid of? I'm in charge. That's it. Stop it, you two. Jim, if I'm not mistaken, your brother suspects that Tyrannus and the super monsters are behind all of this. Isn't that so, Captain? Mm-hmm. If our suspicions are correct, then these strange rats are a dangerous army. So we'll get a whole army of cats, a couple of tons of poison cheese, a million rat traps. <laughs> no problem. Hmm? This is no joking matter, Jerry. This is very serious indeed. And the fate of the whole world may hang in the balance. Is that clear? Uh-huh. All right, then. Let's not waste any more time. Yes, sir. Let's get to work now, Jim. Mm. Mm. Ready. Stand by. Standing by. Good luck. Ready for launch on pad C3. Repeat, pad Charlie 3. All personnel clear the area. Launch condition green and in progress. Attack module docking completed. Take care. Those two had better stop fighting soon. I mean, they can't use the Gemini power if they're mad at each other. They're both so headstrong. Carmody here. The rats are probably gathering for a single mass attack, but we haven't been able to find out what their target is yet. You'll have to track them underground. We'll use ultrasonic detection. Right. Searching. 
the main body of the Rat Pack appears to be moving eastward into City Quadrant Delta 3. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Their target is the Central Oil Refinery. Why? What reason would they have for going there, Wally? A major fire in the refinery could destroy most of the city. The facility is very well guarded against human beings, but rats could easily penetrate the site's defenses through pipelines, ventilation shafts, sewers. This could be a major catastrophe, Captain. Lower attack vehicle. Already being lowered, Captain. Picking up subterranean life form readings, Captain. Look at that! There must be millions of them. Hmm. They planned this attack very well. We can't fire on them or we'll blow up the whole compound. Activate ice gun. Ice gun firing. Look, they're turning into mice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> turning into mice cubes. Oh, what's that? What's going on? Over there, what's that? Oh, it must be a super monster. Well done. Hail to me, that I'm Destroy, destroy. Hold on. Hey, you know, I'll bet we can bring him down if we use the Gemini hooks. What do you say, Captain? Good idea. Yeah. All right now, Jim, prepare to launch. Roger. And fire. Ah! You puny humans will regret doing battle with me. I think we've been hit by a rocket. We are a final victory. Come from the sewers and come from the ditches. Have no mercy on the human beings. Oh no, I, 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 I don't believe it. Fire on them, Lieutenant! There's too many of them, sir! Fire! Ah! Yeah. Wally, Jerry, we'll stay behind and fight the super monster. You two go put out that fire. Take Gemini, too. Aye, sir. <laughs> All right, prepare to disconnect. Preparing for liftoff, Captain. And here we go. receiving unconfirmed reports that a large army of vicious red rats is attacking the central oil refinery. The Earth Defense Squad uh, has been dispatched to investigate no. combat uh, operations, but we have not heard any that report does it. from that Mikey, team. Mikey, what's the Why matter, Mikey? Those rats have caused enough trouble. trouble. I'm going to see what I can do to help out. Stay in your no. Do not panic. The situation is entirely Mikey, under control. Mikey, don't go, Mikey! Laser ready. And fire! <laughs> Airborne missile. It's tough.
think it's working, Wally. We've got it contained. I always dreamed of growing up to be a fireman. Now, Crash, we have them in our power. Attack! Attack! Use your teeth! Use your claws! Bring down the human cities! Attack! You know what we have to do. Oh. Gemini power is the only thing that can get us out of this situation. Let's get ready. No, Jim. Hmm? You must resolve any emotional conflicts between you before attempting bionic transfer. It's much too dangerous otherwise. Huh. Jim, look, it's Michael. Oh. <laughs> 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 be hurt oh no don't go Jim stay here let me go you may be my brother but I hate you stop uh, it right now uh, I'm sorry Jim but we can't afford to be acting like spiteful children now we have a job to do wait <laughs> <laughs> Stop there! Michael, hurry up and get out of here! I... I think I'm hurt! Uh, Hold on, I'm coming! Attack rats! Attack! Attack! You should hold him for a minute! Hey! No time to check! Let's get out of here! Hold on, Michael! We're coming! Attack! Attack! It's too dangerous. You go ahead. Oh, be quiet, Michael. There's the basket. All right, let's strap him in. Okay. I'm fine. You go ahead. Are you all right? I'm fine. Let's go. You'll be all right with them. Right. We have to stop that Stegosaurus. Hey, big brother, you know I really don't hate you at all. Nothing can ever beat us as long as we stay together as a team. Right. Jim! Jim! Gemini! Through the scientific miracle of bionic transference and amplification, brother and sister once again join forces to create a single super force much more powerful than the sum of its two parts. Gemini! Gemini Force! Time is beginning to run out. Gemini must complete the mission within three and a half minutes, or both Jem and Jim may lose their lives. Uh, human scum! Unfortunately, those rodents are superior arsonists, aren't they? Those red devils can go to... That's it! What? We can exterminate the whole problem by sending those rats into the proverbial fiery furnace. What do you think, huh? Huh? Sure, Wally, sure. Whatever you say. Gemini, this is Science Officer Singer. Listen, I think I have it all figured out. He controls the rats with the fins on his back. If we can stop him from transmitting those vibrations, then we'll break his power over them. The fins! Hooray! You're, You're right! right. Rotary blades are spent!
Gemini, it's working. The rats are confused. Now we'll put out those fires. Yeah, but we're gonna leave one burning. Roger, then we'll use our own sonic devices to guide those old rats right into it. Hey, look, Wally, it's working. The rats are all running into the fire. Well, of course it's working, Lieutenant Fordham. It was my idea. <laughs> Where are the ah. rats? <laughs> right. Mm. Right. Mm. Right. <laughs> oh, only 30 seconds are left of the Gemini Force. Let's finish him off. my temper. Oh, no? Well, what do you call it when I you... call it getting the job done. There's only one way to settle this. Yeah? What? Let's be friends. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal to me. <laughs> <laughs> and the Earth Defense Squad is waiting for the super monster's next attack. But things have been pretty quiet for our heroes. And checkmate. Oh, no. <laughs> you walked right into it. I hate chess. In fact, you might even say that things have been downright dull. I know. Hearts? Mm. Oh, please. Mm. But maybe this lull is just the calm before the storm. Uh, emergency! Emergency! Have the super monsters come back no, no, again? No, 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 I could cope with super monsters. This is a real emergency. He's busted out and gone on the lam. Who? Do you know a criminal? Oh, my goodness, no. My friend Sam's not a criminal. He's a central or, or South American herbivorous tree-dwelling mammal, commonly called a sloth. What's a sloth? Hmm. Here's a mugshot of little Sam. He ran away from the zoo this morning. Oh. He's adopted another animal. Ah, oh, forget it. Forget it. Huh? That tree sloth is like a sudden to me. I'm sorry. Uh oh. As the Earth Defense alarm sounds, the team rushes to the office of Dr. Carmody. Sir, the squad is reporting. This is a real emergency. The super monsters have sent a triceratops to the outer suburbs of the city. So close? Ah! to move out immediately. We're on our way, sir. You'd better believe the squad's on its way. Let's go! Boarding chute. Activated. to launch attack vehicle. All systems A-OK. -okay. All personnel clear the area. All personnel clear the area. Gemini Command ship proceeding to pad C-3. Repeat pad Charlie 3. Jen, ahead full. Launch condition green and in progress. Liftoff rockets checked and ready. Attack module docked and ready. Defense bay, roger. Begin vertical takeoff. 
Lift off completed. Vehicles away. Charge and prepare to fire laser guns on my command. All charged. All right, take aim and fire. You and your stupid human toys. Prepare to die. Unusually strong. The Gemini rockets will take care of him. Firing! Well, we sure made that lizard crawl back under his rock. <laughs> Damages are minimal from this attack. What a relief. That monster could have done a lot worse. I think we just got lucky. Captain, I want to hurry back to base and start looking for Sam. He's all by himself in the big city. Let him have some fun. Sorry. It can wait. I have a feeling. That monster will come back. Old Sam's probably drinking fermented banana juice and swinging from a downtown lamppost. Oh, don't tease him, Jerry. I'm sure the zookeepers will find Sam. They know just what to do in cases like this. Well, I hope so. Jim's intuition was correct when it told him the monster was coming back out from under its rock. <laughs> Run! You can't hide! <laughs> Witness my power! Jim, it's come back. Fire missiles, Jim. Target mark. Let him have it again. Fire. Firing. Fire the complete battery. Roger. Looks like he's gone underground again. Yeah, we heard him pretty bad. I don't think that monster will be back again. He's finished. Hmm. You're right, Jim. We won't be seeing any more of him. Now we can head over to that TV tower and rescue those people. I love being a hero. Put the heroics on hold. Huh? Mm -hmm. There's something funny about Is it your Gemini sense again, Jim? I just don't get it, Jim. Why would that super monster keep on fighting us like that after we'd injured it so badly? Well, I suppose the Emperor Tyrannus gave it specific orders to come up and destroy this part of the city. But why would he waste a good soldier? That suburb is small potatoes. That's a very good point, Jim. I'll bet they just want to keep us tied up here while they stage a main attack someplace else. But what about all the people in the tower? Wally, don't worry. We'll call the Earth Defense Relief and Rescue Team to take care of that problem. It's really their job. Hold on, Jim. If we go back to the base now, all those people might be killed before the rescue team gets here. Being on the spot makes us responsible for them. So quit wasting time and start the rescue operation. That's what the monsters want. Now leave it to the rescue team. The rescue team won't be here for at least another half hour. The super monsters want to kill people, and it's our duty to stop them, not help them. Don't tell me my duty. Tell me, Jim, there's a rumor going around the base that when the professor installed your Gemini circuitry, he also took out your heart. Tell me, is that true, huh? Is it? Huh? Shut up! Ugh. We have our own assignment, and if you can't cooperate, then you can get off the team. I'm off the team as of this second then, sir. I know my job. Come back here. No, Jerry, wait! You pathetic excuse! 
for a super monster? How dare you show your scaly face to me? You know what you are, a grumula! A coward! You are keep the defense squad occupied! Thank you, sir! It's an Thank you! Thank you, sir! Jerry is doing what he can by himself to save the people in the tower. Look, the super monster's back. Jerry, get out of there. Ah! Uh, no. Let's get him. Fire missiles when ready. Missiles, Mark! from the super monsters is soon picked up on the defense squad's sensitive radar system. Jim, a new type of monster uh, has appeared. What? This one's more dangerous than the others. It's blowing radioactive particles into the atmosphere, which could make that sector poisonous for a hundred years. Where is it? About 20 miles north of your present location. You haven't got much time. There's a storm headed in that direction. You've got to destroy the monster before the high winds scatter the poison dust over the entire continent. We're on our way, Doctor. Jim, you were right about our responsibilities. Mm-hmm. Wally, you'd better find Jerry. Jim. Before I go, let me say that I respect you even more than I did before, and you made the right decision. You're a fine captain. Uh, uh. Jim, what's the matter? Uh, I'm still a little dizzy. Better rest a minute. I'll be fine. Uh, let's go. Aye, aye, Jim. Jerry, where are you? I just gotta wake him up. Ugh, that's a heck of a way to wake someone up. Sorry, Jerry. I had to wake you up as fast as I could. We've got another one of those monsters on our hands and it's the worst one yet. The monster must be nearby. The level of radioactivity is higher. He's in this area, all right. We've got to stop him. Ready, Jim? Ready, Jim. Oh. You all right, Jim? It'll pass. Let's go. Fire the harpoon gun. Firing now. Fire another harpoon, Jim. He's a tough one. Let's try the laser. Firing laser. I think he's weakening. Fire the rocket gun. Firing now. Bullseye! <laughs> Still there. He's a lot stronger than I thought. We're going to have to use the Gemini transfer. Right. You can't, Jim. Huh? Your readout on the bionic scanner shows you have a damaged circuit. A transfer would be extremely dangerous. I was afraid something like this might happen. If they can't make the Gemini transfer, then what are we gonna do? If we don't, we can't stop him. You won't make it, Jim. Jim, we've got to try. You could die, Jim. We can't waste time. The whole district is being covered with radioactive dust. We've got to stop the monster now. Jim! Jim! Gemini! Gemini! 
Once again, the two squad members undergo the Gemini transfer, combining their life essences. But the damaged bionic circuit in Jim's transfer mechanism has interfered with the transference process. If they are forced to reverse the transfer in the middle of an attack, their chances of surviving are slim indeed, but the risk must be taken, for in order to stop the monster, they need the power of Gemini! Hurry, Jim, that circuit will burn out soon. I'm attacking now. I'm going to try freezing it with the ice ring. Now that the super monster is frozen, I'll finish it off. Jim. The Gemini ship won't move. I think it's stuck, Jim. Jim, move. Attack! Free him and join forces! Attack! Them. Let's go. Jerry, what are we going to do, huh? Attack the monster, of course. But what can we do? They'll tear us apart. What's important is making the attempt, right? <laughs> There, you two. There's hardly any time left at all. and a ram it and blow him to kingdom come. We'll be killed. You won't, my friend. Farewell. Whoa! Jerry! Don't do it, Jerry! This is Jerry. I'm going to ram one of the monsters. The explosion should destroy them both. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, wait, wait a, minute. a minute. There, there must, must be another, another way. way. Jim, Jim, it's all my fault you're in this mess to begin with, and I'm going to make it up to you if it's the last thing I ever do. No. no. Goodbye, Gemini. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. I'm releasing full energy. I just hope that circuit lasts long enough. But if it doesn't, you'll be trapped forever. If Jerry's willing to risk his life for us, I'm willing to do the same for him. I agree. <laughs> Jim, I'm beginning to feel it.
You've only got 12 seconds left, Gemini. It's, it's Gemini's responsibility to destroy the enemies of human planet. Jerry, I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Forget about that. I'm just grateful we're both alive. And thanks for rescuing the people in the tower. Thanks, Captain. It was my pleasure, and I promise I'll never disobey again. <laughs> Probably. Oh. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, squad. Congratulations on the fine job you did today. Wally, you have a visitor. He's been hanging around waiting for uh, you. A friend of mine? Mm-hmm. He's waiting right over there. Sam, you came back. Now I see what Dr. Carmody meant when he said your friend was hanging around. It's a monkey and a raccoon combined. Sam, come on. Come on down. Come to Uncle Wally. Come on, Sammy. Come here, you brown, fuzzy little creature. Don't be such a sloth. Get down. I'm talking to you. Get down. 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 Get down.